So if you notice that my XP level is a little bit lower, it's because I got my gear set up. None of this, you know, not protection stuff. Uh, there's respiration just in case I go underwater, but I'm pretty happy with those. And I mine so much that it really doesn't, <laughs> the, the levels don't stay down that often. So, um, Also another update, um, I haven't died yet. Yeah, I'm surprised too. So there's a few things on my checklist today. Um, a lot of them are going to be required to really do what's going to happen in the next episode after this one. Because I have kind of a big structure that's going to be coming up. And it's going to take a lot of resources and I'm going to need to be able to get those resources fast. Otherwise I'll go crazy trying to get them slowly. And I think one of the best ways to do that is to uh, fight a wither. And as we know from before, or don't, I actually have got those uh, three wither skulls from the very first uh, fortress we went into. So we got those. And I really want to be able to mine faster. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to fight the wither and we're going to mine faster. So that sounds like fun to me. And then other things are probably going to be like, well, I said that I would fix this. You know, make it look better, and I haven't yet. I, when I was making the river, I was like, eh, hey, you know, I'll fix it. It'll be, you know. It's already episode 14, and I still haven't. So I'm going to be doing some terraforming out here just to sort of even things out. You know, naturalize. So I managed to get a power 4 bow, and... I still have my uh, sharpness for looting, not back, all that good stuff. Sword. So I think, I think this will be enough of a loadout. I think now is as good a time as any to make one of these overpowered types, golden enchanted golden apple types, overpowered. Let's hope so, achievement. Let's hope so. So if you go down the mine shaft. And not go down the side where there's uh, the branch mining over there, but the other tunnel that's been kind of unused. This is where I put the uh, the bunker that I built to um, fight the wither. And uh, hopefully it's secluded enough, and it's not going to let it escape. If you want to see how I built this or why I built it the way I did, I'll talk about it later in this video. So the uh, wither is a very uh, interesting foe, so we need to best be on our guard and be aware of a strategy for dealing with them. When this final head goes on, this will fill up this first room, and I'm going to put down obsidian right in the middle here so that it can't really get out, and I'm a little bit more protected. Once it goes into this room, I'm going to do a very similar thing. I put these, I put these window holes here so that I could fire arrows and stuff, but uh, this is also keeps it close quarters so I can uh, hit it with a sword. Once it gets to half health, I will not be able to use the arrows anymore. But maybe, I think this should be able to reach even through here with the sword. So my hopes are that as the wither blasts through, which I'm actually counting on, it's going to get closer and closer to these little holes where I can take swipes at it. And, well, this this is going to be, uh, I guess, now or never, so let's put it on. And thus begins the, uh, the fun. It's getting ready. Alright, we need to fall back to position number two and have our nice little apple I don't know why it's not following me All right. I think we need to get its attention I uh, think that got its attention now or never Oh, there it is on the bar. 
Ah, uh, yes. Oh man, weather lasts a while. Um, so, in general, I'm not really allowed, able to calm down until that stops. Um, okay. Woo! Survived. <laughs> so I think this room worked pretty well. Uh, luckily, it didn't get, um, well this could have been an issue if this was only one thick. Could have made some holes. Um, this room contained everything pretty good. And it didn't really get past this wall, luckily. But if it did, we had a little bit of extra to help out. I'm actually really happy with this. This is this was the first trial run at a room like this. I got my first... That's so cool. So cool. I don't think I get an achievement for it, though. I have... Uh, how do you say... Skipped a few steps. Yes. <laughs> That's not going to stop me from making it, though. The next thing I want to take care of on uh, in this episode is uh, a lot of little things around the town. Uh, sort of like yard work, but Minecraft style. So it's uh, more like intensive landscaping. So I've got a lot of dirt. And I actually have a few cobbles because I want to kind of shore up a few things. I think I'm going to start with that. This is the canal that kind of feeds into all of the uh, the crops down here. And it's it's nice, but I think it's kind of weird that it's made out of dirt. So I'm going to go around and replace things, quite a lot of it, with a uh, cobble. So maybe it seems a little bit more structurally sound that way. It's definitely important that you can uh, hit that right click button just as soon as the block breaks. Otherwise you're going to get flooding that's really bad. Like that! See? This, okay, that wasn't, that wasn't terrible. But I might have to reset this now. So there, great, great demonstration accidentally of what happens if you don't go fast enough. This might look a little better if I get some of this uh, looking like it's a little bit more reinforced. I can go too crazy on it, but maybe just a few spots like that. All right, that's just a little thing that looks nicer. Um, next is over here. Before I want to, before I get in, <coughs> before I get into uh, doing this stuff, I want to explain it first because there, there are a couple things that are going to take some time, and I'd rather just say what they are first, and then show me doing it, like any tips or tricks or whatever. First, there, there's three things I want to do actually. One is I actually want to fill in this lake. It's really not much of a lake. It's not adding anything to this place. Um, I can't really... There's nothing leading into it. There's no real reason for it to be here. And I'm going to probably put something here. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this lake. And actually, what that means is that I can take... I'm going to replace it entirely with grass. So I can actually get a lot of resources. There's sand, there's, um, I believe, some clay in here. There's gravel. There's some nice things. So I'm probably going to uh, take all this out, harvest any rare blocks, or just get more blocks. I just, I'm, I'm in a greedy mood. I, I need more blocks, man. Or well, man. So that's one thing. The other thing is... I want to get rid of the trees right next to the forest, all in a line. And there actually is a line from a, the water over there to the water over there. I want to basically have a, um, a pretty decent 
amount of space between any trees on this side and any trees on that side of the biome line. And the final thing, okay, maybe there's more things. I also want to kind of extend this um, this lake out kind of more to say like this. Just give it a bigger lake. I'm not going to make it deeper in this episode, but I think I might do that later too at some point. And finally, ooh, I like I like how the sky looks. It always looks cool. The mountain and stuff. I'm going to fix this up. I'm going to terraform this and I will say one thing before I start. And the reason why I have all this dirt actually is that when when you're adding levels, I I sort of have a kind of a tip right here. Um, kind of look at look as a guide at the levels that come before or after when you're trying to smooth out the landscape. Like the river here, kind of curves and does something like this. If the uh, river lake, if there wasn't any water in here, it would just be like another uh, level of a mountain. So this would do something really similar to that probably. In fact, I could do this right now. I could very easily see this doing something like this and having it seem pretty, um, maybe even like this. This seems pretty natural to me. Or I can move this in one because it sort of gets sharper at the top here. And I could move this. So actually, I think that looks the best. So it's basically taking whatever happened before it and just kind of exaggerating parts, making it kind of look like the next level. You're sort of like if if I had a if I had a level up here already, I would just split the difference distance wise with this level. So same thing with something up here. It's going to join up here though instead. So that means that I don't have to have it curve in quite as sharp, maybe. I kind of had to there because that's where the river ends. But what I'd do is I'd fill in this because that level's good. Then here, I'd think about drawing the line maybe more like this. And who knows, maybe I'd actually go in a little bit just to... Uh, make it still match on this side what's going on and maybe I could even have it come in a little bit before it goes back out so that it even further echoes what's going on down there and that's it's sort of a complicated sounding um, kind of rule for this and it's not really much of a rule, it's more of a guideline than a rule but you, you can do whatever you want. I think it looks nicer when um, when things get sort of I don't know, when they sort of echo the layers that come before and after in this way like there's always this groove so I'm gonna do that and it's gonna be a bit of time but hopefully it looks good afterwards
All right, I think that about does what I needed to do. So uh, luckily from this roof, you can see the handiwork. I sort of cleared out any trees that were mingling with the, uh, you know, you don't want any, uh, any mingling of these, these with these. So I, I strictly segregated them. And, you know, what, what lake, huh? I don't see any lake. Anyway, the lake's gone. I got a bunch of resources from that. And speaking of lakes, I sort of changed this one. It Originally, it was kind of like this. And there was like a weird thing going in here. So I just kind of rounded it out more. And this is the result of the uh, terraforming to make it look a little more natural with the river. I think that looks pretty good. And... I believe that's all I really wanted to do for this week. And that's that's a lot, you know, I'm I was busy. It's not like I wasn't busy. Um but next week there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on with this border. So I'll be busy collecting resources. And since you made it this far, uh the next part of this video will be showing how I made the uh the wither combat room. Yep, this place. The place with the this. <laughs> I think I'm going to wait until maybe 1.9 1, 1 to try this map out again. But that's not why I'm here. Don't worry about that. I'm here because there was a lava pool behind it. Just a magnificent source of obsidian. So, I'm going to need a lot of it for what I have planned. This may or may not be enough, and I did take a few from the reserves that I have. So this is actually all the obsidian I have. But just in case, it's not enough. Oh, whoa! This feels just like old times over here. Oh, I never took any of this stuff. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I didn't finish exploring a lot of this. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> wow, I'm getting nostalgia. This is really... Weird, it's not that long ago. Shouldn't be getting nostalgia. Maybe on just the fact that there's so many ores that I forgot to mine. Well, just as good as any. Alright, I'm satisfied with that much obsidian. And I'm also tired of mining obsidian. So as I look for places in the mine shaft to um, have a good spot to fight the wither, I think that since my strip mines go this way, this is probably the best area for it. And what I'll probably do is have the the wither battling area somewhere over here so what I have here is a sort of a a way of narrowing down the path to the area where I will be fighting the wither and giving myself as many strategic advantages as possible I'm gonna be probably replacing a lot of this with obsidian and there's actually going to be a lot of obsidian on the floor and on the ceiling just to make sure that the wither doesn't get too far away so I'm gonna I'm gonna update you when that's done so the reason I have a lot of obsidian is for rooms like this I want to the closer I get to where the the weather will actually be spawning uh, the more protection I want 
So I actually want to reinforce the floor, not just one. No, no, not just one, but too thick because the weather can destroy obsidian with its blasts. That's how crazy it is. So, and as you can see, this is going to go through my supply pretty fast. I'm also going to give the sides some love and eventually the ceiling. But it's just going to be one thick, I think. I was hoping that I would have more. Uh, man, I'm going to need to go get some more. This isn't going to be enough. I need a lot more. All right, this is going to be the very special room. It's going to be very small, just big enough to make the wither. The wither is going to stand right there. So I need enough room for it to explode and do its thing without causing too big of a hole. So let's see what I can do. All right, so something like this fits the bill. I'm basically going to have um, a very small area and this is where I'm going to this is going to be the first area that I could possibly fight at and I'll retreat through here if things get too hairy. Um but I'm going to basically reinforce I'm going to make a cube basically out of obsidian which means more obsidian. Well, I think I'm just about satisfied. I'm about to go get the other pieces, but this is this is what's ready. The uh, the floor is too thick, going all the way back through here, and I've made these walls also, except for this one's one thick, and the floor here is one thick because I ran out of obsidian, and there's nothing really protecting anything else in here. So I'm really hoping that by the time I have to retreat this far, that I've done most of the damage. This is going to be sort of phase one where it's going to be in here. And this will be phase two out here. And this will be optional phase three. And I really hope it doesn't go to phase four. And phase five could be disastrous because this goes into, uh, well, the main area. This is a very lovely escape route. <laughs> But I think that's um, uh, secure enough. So I'm going to get the, the stuff we get started. This has been Red McNed. So long.